Okay, I'm going to show you how to create an um, interactive spreadsheet using Google Docs, which can then be embedded on a page in Canvas. So I'm here using Google Docs. Um, I don't know if this will work with Yoho or not. That was mentioned in the question, but I'm a Google Docs person. Um, I've created a very, very simple interactive sheet here. Um, so title, X, Y, answer. The idea is you enter an X and a an Y, and it's going to multiply it to give your answer over here. Obviously, I could have a lot more instructions and everything, but that's all I did. So then what I did is I protected cells so they could not be edited. Um, so for instance, first I took these two cells, I right-clicked and said protect range. Um, you can describe this range if you want to. When you say set permission, that only I can edit it. Okay, I want to do the same thing for this cell for sure, so I don't want them to, to change the formula cell. Um, and I've actually already done this. And I also did um, just this very bottom range right here, so people aren't graffitiing it up. Um, in reality, it'd probably be good to set all the stuff to be unedited so that only these two are editable. But for now, I just have basically done this section right here with only those two editable. So now I want to share my um, sheet publicly on the web. I do that by clicking the share. And then you want to change this. Mine, I've already changed it. But the default, I believe, is that anyone can view. You want to change that anyone will, with the link can edit it. Okay. And again, that's going to give anyone with access to the sheet the ability to edit, but we're going to, um, well, but we've locked the cells that we don't want people to have a chance to do that with. So I've done that. I'm going to copy that address. So I did a control C. And now in Canvas, um, I am in, let me get out here real quick. So I'm on a page, and I'm just going to the HTML editor. I've already done this. I'm not going to delete it. And I'm using an iframe command to embed that sheet. So here the iframe src equals, and then inside these quotes here, that is where I'm going to paste that URL. Okay. I also set a width and height. The default was too small earlier, so I set that a little bit bigger. And now I will save this. And the result is it's using an iframe to embed that sheet of which only certain things are editable. Now, I think I am currently logged in, so it's letting me edit it. Let me see if it'll let me log out here. I'm gonna sign out of Google Docs and view this page. Oops. Okay. Sorry, should've been ready for this. Let me go back into my course now that I am no longer signed in under pages. So now this page for people who aren't signed in, if they go here, see I can't click anywhere in there. In fact, it even grays out that those are locked. Yet I can go in here and change those and get the interactive part of that sheet working. Okay, hope that makes sense and is kind of what you're looking for.